A new mRNA vaccine is being tested on calves and dairy workers because of the global bird flu outbreak as officials worry the virus could mutate, become more deadly or begin spreading person to person. FLCCC senior fellow Dr. Brooke Miller, a cattle rancher and doctor, has seen the effects and damage that centralized control of the beef industry has had on family farmers, ranchers and rural communities. And joining us now is Dr. Miller. Thanks for joining us here. We appreciate you joining us. Good morning. You spent your entire life raising registered Angus cattle, and you've got 40 years of experience as an emergency and family a medical doctor. So are mRNA vaccines currently being used in animals that humans consume? Yes, they are. Uh, Merck's platform called Sequevity has been uh, approved for use and licensed for use in swine in the United States, Canada, Mexico, and Chile. What are the regulatory and approval processes that these mRNA vaccines have to go through and what research and trials have been conducted? Well, the, the regulatory review is pretty much up to USDA. The uh, APHIS and FSIS uh, control most of the regulatory review. Uh, FDA is also involved as well. They're, they're tasked with reviewing all of the uh, research that the drug companies do. Uh, as far as what research has been done, we really don't know. It's, it's uh, been pretty opaque, uh, sort of like the uh, human mRNA vaccines. It was uh, very opaque as what the research showed. And uh, this very much needs to be uh, transparent and for open for review for independent scientists who have no conflict of interest. How could this impact food safety and agricultural practices? I mean, if, if humans consume this meat, uh, what kind of effect could this have on, on, on us? Well, we don't know. I mean, I don't think any of that research has been done and that neat research absolutely needs to be done. Um, I know of no research. The, the drug companies uh, have not shared any research uh, that has been done. And uh, so, so basically we don't know. And, and we're calling for complete open and transparent uh, review process by independent scientists. What is regarding the, this. Gotcha. And so what is the U.S. Cattlemen's Association policy on mRNA vaccines? And, and tell me what your uh, biggest issue of this is. Well, the U.S. Cattlemen's Association uh, has seen uh, as myself being a physician has seen the uh, devastating side effects that it's had on the human population and how dangerous it's been in the human population and how ineffective it's been in the human population. And so we're very concerned that this will happen uh, the, uh, basically in, in, our, in our livestock. And uh, we do know that there is shedding of both the mRNA technology and of the uh, spike protein, which is coded for by the mRNA vaccine, uh, into human milk, or in, yeah, into human milk. Uh, it adversely affects uh, fertility. Uh, we have seen an all increase in all-cause mortality uh, worldwide in countries that have adopted this technology and mandated this technology. Uh, we've seen an uptick in autoimmune disorders, neurologic disorders. It basically can affect any uh, organ system in the body. And so the United States Cattlemen's Association has been proactive and called for uh, basically the halt of mRNA use in, in livestock until full independent safety studies show that it is safe and effective. Well, it's a story that we're going to be keeping a close eye on for sure. We appreciate you joining us this morning and shedding some light onto this. Uh, for more information on this topic and to view the webcast, you can go to flccc.net. Dr. Brooke Miller, we appreciate you joining us this morning. Have a great day. Thank you.